What's up, Grass Grind family? Uh, welcome to Grass Grind TV. All right, so today I was telling you uh, from the last video, got a special video coming up, and I was kind of in between um, what would be the next lawn care setup that we go with for next season, whether it be an enclosed, whether it be an open trailer, whether we get a truck. Um, it's so many different options that you can choose and you have to make sure that you do the best thing that works for you and works for your company, okay? So, before I get started, got some new merch that's dropping. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, if you're interested, you can hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Grass Grind. Send me a message, let me know your size. We'll get it ordered up for you, get it sent to you, okay? It's not on grassgrind.com yet, but it will be soon. So what I ended up doing is I was looking and searching and I was talking to a lot of people, what is the best setup, watching a lot of lawn care videos and saying, hey, I wonder what's the best setup uh, to go with. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what we're gonna be running with, okay? And this wasn't an easy, it wasn't an easy choice because it's so many it's so many things that you can go with and uh this is what we ended up going with okay all right so hopefully you can see that as you can see we're going with an open trailer okay this is a sure track 16 foot open trailer and the reason that I would want it to go with the open trailer is just because you can see exactly what you're back when you're backing up it gives you so much more visibility now I know you got some guys like the U-Haul truck which I do I really like and it's it's really a great idea but for me this was a no-brainer for me okay so what I'm gonna do is start from the front explain a couple of different options why I like it and then kind of go from there okay all right so the first thing you'll see here is that the jack is recessed okay right here and that's good so when you bring down your tailgate I don't know if you can see that you bring down your tailgate it won't hit the tailgate which I do have a dent from the last one okay very good very sturdy as you can see this iron is very sturdy okay um, it does have a breakaway I guess you would call it a breakaway switch that's probably not the right thing to call it but it's right here if you have any issues um, it'll pull that cord out and then it'll engage the brakes which is a cool feature okay um, this has square tubing all all the way down okay all the way down which makes it very sturdy power coated and it has plenty of room okay so if you see that right there it says powder coated tough okay sure track brand at the bottom and another cool feature since I'm right here this is another cool feature right here so a lot of times you'll have problems with your wiring and um, you know it, it might be dangling underneath getting caught on something all the wiring is going right through here okay this whole area right here that's where the wiring is going which makes it better because you want to make sure that it stays out the elements it stays out the weather and that was definitely definitely a good feature um, treated wood as you can see love it Okay, LED lighting, try to back up a little bit, see if you guys can see that. Got the tires right here, really good, um, really sturdy. Diamond plate above the tires. 
and another feature that it has oh it has the stakes too right here has the pocket stakes so if you want to add on to it you can some more LEDs another great feature that it has I'm gonna back up so you can see it another great feature that it has is that it's spring assisted so if you look right here spring assisted on both sides and what's pretty cool is that you can um, this pin right here always stays in okay so what you do is flip it up bring it back and then of course when you're about to lock it put it back in flip it down I can't tell you guys how many of these I've lost just during the season on the old trailer okay probably five or six just you know rushing going too fast and you know that's pretty much it love the LEDs on the back this gives great visibility and I wish it was at night so you guys could see it okay same on this side with the spring assist and with the sizing okay I can get a 36 61 and definitely another mower on this side if necessary so wanted to go um, with a little bigger trailer 16 foot that'll be plenty um, that way um, when we add on another mower we well, got plenty of room to do it okay same on this side got the sure track and what we've done is that we went on ahead and got a spare tire and for us it, it was very important so you know you don't have any downtime and you make sure if there's anything that you know you need you can still get it done okay but with this spare tire location if you can see it sticks out past the the fender okay I don't really like that um, I think the location should probably have been in the front right somewhere in here um, I really don't want to mess with it cut it off and um, you know move it just because I love the way the trailer is it drives very very smooth and um, overall I just like it so that's just one of those things where um, is it a good trailer yes is it a um, couple of things I would have changed definitely um, especially with that spare tire location you want to make sure that um, you're not going to hit a mailbox or you're not getting too close on the road it's so many different things that you can hit with that and I think that um, it should have been in a different area okay um, so I told you all the good things but to me it's one major flaw okay one major flaw on this trailer and it's not it's not a huge thing it's just one of those things that I really really kind of bothers me I only had it for a um, little bit over a month I wanted to use it get used to it that way I can give you a proper review okay but this is one thing I noticed okay so if you see right here this powder coat is chipping okay all along here and I think what that's from let me move around a little bit uh, I think basically what that's from is that if hold on one second all right so I'm back so I think basically what that is from is that when you lower your your trailer gate um, the pressure from the mowers coming on and coming on and off excuse me um, that causes it to move and you might have an issue with it scraping I think that it should be something there where it's a piece of rubber or um, you know something different where it's not chipping because that chipping leads to more chipping and then by the time you know it your gate is going to be uh, totally done I did reach out to SureTrack and they uh, recommended me to talk to the dealer don't have a problem with the dealer because they were great um, but I think that that was one thing that bothered me and it just 
you know, I didn't want to run an hour out just to get that done. So I'm going to try to figure out some kind of rubber coating or, you know, try to spray it that way I can get it coated. Okay. Um, last thing that I want to touch on is on the tailgate. Okay. This is square tubing right here, which makes it really, really sturdy. Okay. The last one that I had had the angle iron and um, the expanded metal, I believe it was on this corner. That's what um, was messing up on me. I could have tack welded it, but you know, it, it just wasn't worth it. So you guys let me know what you think. Short track, 16 foot, two top trailer, utility trailer. Really, really like it. Had a chance to get it out here and um, just wanted to kind of show you guys um, what we're going to be going with for the next season um, it looks a little different got to figure out where to put the, the trimmer racks haven't had a chance to put it on uh, actually I have I just know that it's going to be the end of the season and I didn't want to put it on and it's just going to be sitting so the new trimmer racks are brand new still in the box still have to put it on but um, you know it's just what it is so I'm going to get out here finish mowing but I want to show you what we're going to be rocking with. And uh, we got a lot more surprises coming. But um, overall, great trailer. Do recommend it. Um, I don't like how the paint is chipping in the back. But, I mean, it's, it's something that I'm going to have to work with and something that I have to figure out, okay? All right, so I'm going to get busy. This is Chris on the grass grind. Always invest in yourself and keep grinding every day. All right? Yeah. And get you a sure track. I love it. I think that's going to be my new brand. All right. Definitely like this one. And the cool thing is, um, I got actually, I got a new customer. I, I might make a video about that. And um, they called and wanted to get one mow for the rest of this season and then um, we're going to be maintaining them next season so i'm going to get out of here uh, get everything together i appreciate everybody watching subscribing liking disliking it doesn't matter as long as you're investing in yourself hey that, that's the best thing in the world okay all right i'm out Never know what you see on Grass Grind TV. Subscribe. Yeah.